Don, um, what was uh, the message to the team at halftime? What did you say to them and how did you express it? Um, I mean, I just said that we we just we weren't playing our, our style of play. I think we were – I mean, we were we were prepared for their style of play and, what, and how they were going to play us. We just didn't execute. I thought they sped us up. I thought their defense bothered us. I, I thought we just – we played faster than we needed to, to play – too fast that we couldn't need we couldn't read the floor, so it led to some um, just some real ugly play on both sides of the ball. Go ahead, uh, Coach. <clears throat> you guys gave up no made field goals in that second quarter. Was there something that you How said? Many? Uh, no made field goals, zero. Uh, was there something you said to the team after the first quarter that could have gotten them playing like that? And then how big is a quarter like that for the game moving forward? Well, I mean, no, no, I didn't, I didn't say anything. Our, our defense is pretty good. I, I thought, I thought Clemson did a great job at making us kind of look out of whack. Um, bad rotations, no, uh, you know, no communication out there, and it wasn't, you know, it was some of what we were doing, and it was just some of uh, just Clemson miss, missing. I don't think it was all of all us doing that because uh, our rotations were bad. There were a lot of loose balls. I thought they were. I thought they were more aggressive than we were. Um, I just thought they mucked the game up um, to, you know, to even the playing field. And I'm, I'm not mad at them for doing it that way. Hey, Don. <clears throat> hey, Don. After seeing Aaliyah, the way she kind of came out after first or after a halftime, rather, um, you know, not being able to play much in the in the first half, and then really surging and kind of having all that passion. I just wanted to know how much does her energy and passion kind of carry out into having big quarters like the one in the third, and just kind of flow throughout the rest of the the second half there. I mean, Aaliyah's a competitor. Um, she wants to play her very best every time she steps on the floor. Um, we have to do a better job of getting her in position to score. Um, she has to score when she's in positions to score. Um, she's got to stay on the floor and not put herself in, uh, get herself in foul trouble. Um, you know, uh, she's helpful. Anytime that we that she's on the floor, she's going to give us something on both sides of the ball that's uh, that's on the positive side of things. So, um, I mean, I'm waiting for her to just you know break out because it, it's coming. Um, teams are just, you know, different styles of play that we have to, we have to adjust to a lot sooner so we can get her involved a lot more. Don, what did you think of the atmosphere out there? And did you maybe think, wow, I really miss this? Yeah, I, I did. I mean, I mean, I actually looked on Twitter. I think um, Augusta. I think I saw one of your. And when we came, when our players came out on the floor, and I'm just like, there's nobody there. Oh my God, like. Is this really that dream that I was that I tweeted about? Like a mad nightmare, right? And then when I, you know, when I walked out, you know, I saw just the arena filled up, and and you know, you exhale. This is kind of normal. This is this is what we're used to. This is what this was what we created um, in the whole scheme of women's basketball. Um, this is what we've become accustomed to, and it was great. The energy was great. Um, I, I don't think we, uh, I don't think we allowed the crowd to, to impact the game in the first half, but in the second half, you really felt them just pouring in the, the energy and, the, and cheering us on, and we, we got a chance to connect some plays and open up the game a little bit. David, Don, how is Sanaya Rivers health wise? Is she gonna be okay this for th for this weekend? Yeah, she 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 uh, she should be ready to go in, uh, on on Saturday, barring you know. A good practice on Friday. Born and not so good practice on Friday. <laughs> yeah, that traffic getting in here, Coach. Uh, pretty busy out there. A lot of people trying to get in there at the very last minute. Uh, I asked you the question yesterday about the whole, the banner going up, and some of your players have talked about it since I, I talked to you yesterday. Do you take more pride in seeing that go up, or is it more of a reminder and that chip on your shoulder of going into this season knowing how close you were? Well, actually, when I when I saw the the banner, you know, being unveiled, I'm like, I, I like bigger ones. <laughs> I mean, like, you know, you, you you see it, you know, versus the um, national championship, and then you see the you know number one ranking is significantly smaller, <laughs> and we want to put big banners up. No, it's nothing. Take nothing away from our success. Um, 
but we, we know what it feels like on more than one occasion to go to the Final Four and not win. I mean, winning is, is definitely a lot more exciting to unveil a, um, a banner, but I mean, I think it, it goes to show just our sustained success. I mean, and it's hard to do in any profession, in any sport, um, but our, our team seems to be able to do that over the years, and it's just the commitment of our players. I mean, they they can go other places and do other things and 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 be just fine, but they chose to come here, and that's why we we've had the success that we've had in the history of our you know of our program. Thank you. You've won 11 in a row over Clemson, and and tonight with this win, you now even the all-time series with them. Do you allow yourself to get? into the rivalry very much or because of where your program is nationally is is it kind of lost in everything else that you do no i mean this is a pretty pretty big deal for you know for us around here um i i think i made the mistake of <laughs> probably like 13 years ago i was like i read the win against uconn then the eclipse and then everybody was in an uproar <laughs> well, i read to be both of them how about that it feels good to beat both of them, um, but no. I somebody I just saw the stat where we could even this. Somebody put it. Somebody tweeted it out where we can, you know, even it up. And I can I can you know I, I don't remember all eleven, but I surely remember the first two. Um, one of them was a, a barn burner. I think we, we fouled a three point. I mean, we fouled somebody shooting a three pointer, at you know at the end of regulation and they lost. So I mean. But it's it's great, you know. I, I I wish that we, all of our sports, um, especially football coming up in the next two weeks, you know, that we can continue to, you know, just be dominating in in the series. We we want to start, we want to start that. We want to be that. We want we we want our fans to really um, have some state pride uh, when it comes to beating Clemson. Don, I wanted to ask a, a, a couple of quick ones. You're scheduled to start a couple of road games, quick trip home, then you're off to Paradise Island. What can something like that do? And I wanted to get your opinion on the expansion of the NCAA field to uh, 68 teams. Um, <clears throat> you know, I thought our, our schedule is a, a challenging one. Um, we, we got through the first three games, and then now we, we go down the, to the Bahamas and, you know, Wherever we end up, we're going to play three tough games. It, it, it doesn't matter how you look at it. It doesn't matter what side of the bracket you end up on. It, it, they're going to be three tough games, and we're measuring ourselves. We want to, we want to play the best. Um, it requires us to be focused. It requires us to not have a bad night. And that's the, the type of pressure that we want to put ourselves under because that's the pressure that, you know, continuing to win in the NCAA tournament. That's what, that's what it does. Um, and then, um, I mean, then we come back and, and, and play some more at home. We don't have enough home games, but the ones that we do have are pretty good. Um, I mean, expanding, I mean, I wasn't, I, I wasn't in favor of it. Um, and it's not that, you know, it does create, uh, more opportunities for, for teams. Um, but I, you know, I mean, the first round games aren't as exciting as probably on the men's side. So I don't know if that, you know, I don't know if that is beneficial to our, to the game or seeing the games on television. I, I hope, I hope it is. I hope that changes and I hope it doesn't change, you know, when it, when it's us <laughs> against us. Um, so that's, that's it. I mean, I, I mean, is, is it equitable? Yes. We want to be equitable in, in, in some other, in some other places when it comes to comparing um, our tournaments. Thank you, coach. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.